That is a husband and wife carry the baby in and there's tremendous merits, tremendous blessings associated with this carrying in of the baby. Especially today is not just an ordinary day, today is the eighth day of Hanukkah. Uh, it's not difficult to connect the eighth day of Hanukkah to a circumcision, but in addition, the eighth day of Hanukkah is a very special day. And it's uh, by divine providence, while the baby was born two and a half weeks ago, by divine providence, the bris is today. In addition, we're just a couple days away, Tuesday is an extremely special day in the Chabad calendar, it's Hey Tavis, an extremely auspicious day, and I'm very honored and happy that Hashem guided things, that the bris of our son is today on the eighth day of Hanukkah, and just a couple days before Hey Tavis. And now, we ask the Moil to begin the ceremony. Kvater. That means carry the baby in. and his wife Hudi to be the Kvater and Kvateren. There's a custom amongst Chassidim that when anything joyous happens, we notify the Rebbe, and the Rebbe would send a letter always to the uh, occasion, whether it was a birth, a bar mitzvah, or a wedding. And we believe that the words of a tzaddik stand forever. And certainly the Rebbe's brachas today are in full force and just as much as it was, if not more, than previous before his passing. The reading of the letter today is going to be honored to one of the shluchim of Lubavitch, Wisconsin. My dear friend, Avrami Shapiro, will read the Rebbe's letter. And uh, the translation of the letter by dear brother, Leroy Mati Shpalter, will do the translation in English. And during the reading of the letter, I would like to honor my dear son Avrami to hold the baby during the reading of the Rebbe's letter. The letter that we're using today to read is actually the letter that was sent 44 years ago at my birth that the Rebbe sent to my father, the address to my father, and that's the letter that we're actually going to read today, and it's a very special and meaningful that we have this letter here. It was sent to England, so therefore you'll notice the paper is the old ear mail letter. <laughs> Greetings and blessings in response to your notification that the son was born in an auspicious hour. May it be God's will that you bring him into the covenant of Abraham, our father. And just as you bring him into the covenant, so may you bring him in up to Torah, marriage, and good deeds. And may you, may you raise him together with your wife. May she be well in prosperity. Blessings of Malatov, the Rebbe's holy signature. Thank you very much. Usually you would say now you may be seated, but the customer has to stand. Besides the Sandik, the customer has to stand. Uh, we now come to a very beautiful custom, a tradition that the Kohanim, uh, the Kohen blesses the uh, baby, and we'd like to ask the Kohanim to come forward. Uh, those who are here, specifically um, uh, Mark Goldner, Bernie Newman, Dr. Kornblum, those who are here to come. And we'd like to honor a very dear friend, Dr. Shamoy, uh, who was considered the uncle of the baby, to hold the baby during the blessing of the Kohanim. Dr. Seaman, I'm sorry. It's been an interesting day. Thank you. 
comes a very special honor. This is the honor of putting the baby, the infant, on the chair of Elijah. I'd like to ask my dear nephew, Rabbi Chesky Thaler, who is here, Chabad on campus on the east side, to put the baby on the chair of Elijah. And as all the other honors, the customers he puts on a talus. There's a tradition that Elijah comes to every single circumcision, and along with this comes a special protection and a blessing to everyone who attends the bris. As a matter of fact, it says that the sins of those who attend the bris are removed, and a person walks out of the bris, a righteous man, a tzaddik. So you all the clear, fresh start for a new year. I'd like to honor my dear nephew, Rabbi Shalom Ber, Munitz, to take the, chi the baby from the chair of Elijah and hand the baby to the father of the baby, which is myself. <laughs> The great honor of the circumcision is the one who is the sandit, the one who holds the baby during the actual circumcision. I'd like to honor my father, the rabbi of our community, to be the sandit for the bris. The 
the custom, or not a custom, the mitzvah, the obligation of the circumcision is actually on the father of the child and myself, and the mitzvah is that I should do the bris, uh, because I lack certain training, I'm going to appoint a messenger, an emissary, someone to do it on my behalf, and I have chosen Rabbi Yitzhali Wilshansky, the Shliach and Kenosha, to perform the circumcision, and it's traditional that I actually hand him the uh, circumcision instrument, and this is where he becomes my actual emissary. They have not yet started. to come up and bring the baby from the sandik, my father, and give it to me, I will be honored with the sandik Mu'umad, the, the standing sandik, the one who holds the baby during the naming. The naming of the baby will be done by my brother-in-law, Rabbi Chaim Abrams from Postville, Iowa. And uh, he's been preparing the whole Shabbos for this. Hopefully he does a good job. <laughs> Thank you. 